92.3 KJLH. My heart is pounding a thousand miles a minute right now because. Uh-huh. I heard you wanted me to pull up, huh? So I'm pulling up. Here I am. I just slid through. I'm going crazy right now. Yeah, I heard you. Dude, are you serious right now? Oh, yeah, that's right. In the flesh. I dropped down right out of the sky. <laughs> Crazy. Oh yeah. Who told you? Who said something to you? Uh, you know, one of my good friends, uh, 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 uh Brittany, Brittany Jackson. She, uh, I got a DM. I just changed my number, so um, I'm still <laughs> okay, getting, getting my, people call you. getting my number to everybody that need to have it. She DM me and was like, "Yo, uh, uh, I think you need to call in right quick." I said, "Well, you know what? I'm, a, I'm gonna pull up." I'm about Shut to pull it up. up. Luke James has pulled up to the Tammy Mac Late Show, y'all. Yes, so give him my head. What's happening? What's happening, y'all? Oh, man. You got a lot of stuff happening. Yes. Like yes. a ton of stuff happening. Uh, oh, we, we got a lot of stuff happening, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> man, so yeah. Luke, talk about this new project first. Let's get to that. Uh, the new project. Um... Five years in the making. Um, I don't even just, know where you squeeze the just, time in five years. Yeah, I know. I needed I needed that time to do it though. I needed this 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 time is is, is just proper right now. Uh, the new project is uh, entitled uh, "To Feel Loved." Um, it's just a, a bridge album for me. You know, it's it's just a of songs that just really got me to a place of feeling appreciated, feeling loved, and 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 just. Uh, I just wanted to give it out, give it, give it away, and just get back to music, giving people what I love to do. Yeah, because, I mean, one reason I wanted you to pull up was because, I mean, you've been doing all this acting now. Yeah. And I'm like, when is Luke James going to get back to the music? Not yeah. that the acting took you away from music, but mm -hmm. still, it, like, you were on shows doing music for shows. Yeah. And we, your fans, were waiting for music from Luke James. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you and I shared a show together. Yes, we did. That's where the star. <laughs> huh? To all the yeah. fans out there, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for making us number two, number three on on TV, on Fox and everything. We thank you so much for the years. Appreciate y'all, really. Yeah, here's a little song. I'm not here to judge. People can be brutal. I know that. You just got to ignore it. You know me. Keep it pushing. Look. I know I was using a lot on tour, and you were missing the girls, and we were pretty messed up and probably party too much. You don't have to do this. <sighs> Look, I'm not trying to be like my pops and leave my kid out in the cold. If the child is mine, I have a right to know. I did the math. The envelope says you are not the father. Mm, then the baby came out mm, black. Man, <laughs> he knew it. He knew, he, he knew that was his kid. He knew it. He was like... Something ain't right. It ain't adding up. What What would you do if if that really happened to you? If you thought you were somebody's mm -hmm. father and then you weren't? Wow. Wow. That's that's heavy. I just try to be the best human I can be in the moment. You yeah, know, that's I, a I was, hard moment to know, be human. Just just let me get let me take my personal wants out of it, and it's just about. You know, how do I just support this person that I care for, that I love, and and this entity that is about to come into this world that I love and find out that I am not as connected? I would, I would, it would, it would hurt me, but I would still be there. I would yeah. try to be the best human I can be. So even if you found out you weren't the father, you would still be involved in the child's life? I, I, why not? I mean, mm, yeah, you know, it, 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 honestly, if I take myself out of it, if I take my own personal wants and whatnot, I, I, I really just want the child to have the best life, you know, yeah. possible. Yeah. And so whatever that is, I don't want to add no stress to it. I'm hurt. But I'll deal with I'll deal with that later on. This right now is just about the kid. I was checking out an interview and you said that your acting career fueled your creativity. How yes. so? Um. Yeah, well, you know, I, uh, uh, a while ago, I just kind of really fell out of love, I guess, for creating music, um, and I lacked the inspiration for it um, to do it. Uh, so I needed to take time away, and while taking that time, I received a call from a, a brother of mine, uh, Elijah Kelly. Mm -hmm. um, he had been offered a part in a very special movie that BT was uh, preparing to do about a, 
a very special group. <laughs> um, <laughs> he asked me if I he asked me if I was interested in in you know doing film and 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 I said yes. And he you know locked me in with Jesse Collins and uh, Chris Robinson, and the project happened to be the New Edition story, yeah. and the character happened to be Johnny Gill. You rocked it. Yeah. So you rocked. did you know Johnny before the the movie? You know, it's funny. I had opened up for Johnny like at a, a performance, like a show, like a long time ago. I didn't know him personally, mm-hmm. but I'd always admired him as a kid. I used to mimic mimic him. I used to, you know. He's got that deep, deep register yes. in his voice, and he yes. has a very, like his personality is huge, yeah. man. Yeah. Totally. How did you even? <sighs> Well, me, he and I, well, it, I, one, I related to his story, the story that they wanted to tell about Johnny um, and, and his uh, union with the group. I related to it very well, him him at a young age having such a big voice, yeah. um, a label trying to find who do we sell this young guy with this grown <laughs> voice, with this grown know. music too. Who do we- This grown man wh- voice. Who do we market and he ain't to? even pop, pop nobody's <laughs> cherry yet, not even his own. <laughs> like he can't even get it up right now. We, and we over here trying to put him on a kitty bop. You know, so who, like, who do what? we market? at his kid too you know and I really relate I related to that story and him just finding his way and him being a, a person who can adapt to any situation and still find a way to shine yeah um and then also, you know, um, he has been a part of my life, my upbringing, my musical upbringing. Um, so I just, I, I've, I took a responsibility. I mean, I guess we all did took a responsibility into telling these guys stories, you know, and just making sure that we told it um, how they really, really believed it to be and the truth and just what their fans needed to know. Um, and hanging with him, we, we we only got one time to hang. Uh, he was going, really, yeah. He was he he was having um his mo- his mother was sick at the time, so oh. he was you know doing a lot of traveling. Um, so we only got a chance to really have dinner and just talk. Um, and I just had to trust myself. Yeah. And it just panned out that trust. Did you myself. know you were this good? Um, because, I mean, we've seen you in so much now. Yeah. Literally, I believe more people know Luke James, the actor, yeah. than Luke James, the singer. Yeah, we're finding that out now, too. Are you really? <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, let me help it's, you find that it's out. It's very brother. humbling. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I thought everybody was you. I could sing. Okay. All right. That's really you singing? Uh, yeah. No. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> so did you know, because obviously you knew mm-hmm. you had the chops to, to, to yeah. put records out and make music and wonderful sexy yeah. music but uh, did you know you could act um i think at a time i did and then then at a at this particular time closer to this opportunity i didn't know i forgot i think at a time when i first set out to be an entertainer be an artist and everything i believed everything I thought I could be, I thought I was, I believed it. And I think, you know, being in the business and just a lot of downfalls and just life taking its toll um, kind of makes you forget those particular things about yourself, those particular qualities yeah. that you don't really have the space to really Ooh, figure that's real. out. So jumping into this film, this opportunity, it it sparked it just woke that inner child up and like yeah man you this is you this is you this is what this was the dream anyway this is the dream from the get you just lost sight of it so the dream was always all of it everything sammy davis jr why not yeah why not black people magic completely <laughs> we do everything we can do anything there's we nothing do, we can't do we do it all don't we <laughs> <It's> nothing <laughs> so um I know you pulled up on me and I appreciate mm, that right. yeah, yeah. you surprised mm-hmm. me cause I didn't even know I had this kind of like this is dope like you yeah. don't understand how dope this situation is for me right now no I appreciate you but Thank I got you. a surprise for you what you got for me cause the person that we're talking about now is my only celebrity friend yes in Hollywood literally <laughs> my only celebrity friend <laughs> in Hollywood yo <laughs> Oh, yeah. So Johnny Gill is pulling up too. Yo, Johnny G. I, I'm right here. You know, I, listen. You take. You know, I'm. All, I'm following you. I'm watching you. I, I, you know, I, we like twins. I, 
man. Let me tell you. Let me tell you, JG. I love you, man. I love you, man. Thank you so man, much, man. Thank you. I love you too, man. and I'm so proud of you, man. Let me tell you. You know, I, I keep an eye and watching what you're doing and seeing how you're moving, and you've been so. I mean, just carrying it not only just on the on film but i'm talking about off camera man you carry yourself with such grace and dignity and and that's a part of something that i live by every day so i'm i'm proud of you man watching you how you're moving and how you continue to go so you know i just needed to call to tell you you know i'm watching you i got you you know that man and Terry Mac, you know you're my only uh, a hollywood friend i got right here <laughs> <laughs> JG, I love you, man. Thank you so much, man. Like, like you really, man, 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 you, man, you the truth, man. And I'm just so oh, grateful to you. be able to bond with you, be able to do, man, to portray you, man, to know you, man. Let me tell JG calls me. He calls me every other month. Really? To make I'm sure. Like, hey, how you making out? What you doing? Hey, man. <laughs> hey, man. He, oh, and, and listen, I, and I got to tell the fans, people who've supported me musically, this man has always been, every time he comes, what we doing musically, though? What we doing musically? Oh, so he's been we, on what you. We, what we doing yeah, with the music? Yeah. Don't forget yeah, we got I, you here. Well, we, we thank you. We, we Luke James fans, thank you, Johnny Gill, for telling him to get back to the music. 100. Absolutely. This is what you do. Not yeah. that we tired of seeing him on the screen. No. But. No. Yeah. yeah, but you can't forget, no. you can't forget the foundation. Absolutely. And, and that's that. Absolutely. And I thank you and for literally. always reminding me that. Yeah, well, I told you, man, we got to get something. We're going to do something and put something together where uh, something I think the people are going to really enjoy. So oh, my we, gosh. We, we, we have to. We have That's to be uh, yeah, crazy. I'm, I'm, I'm sitting on the set, set right now shooting uh, Perfect me, with me and Ralph. I know. And, uh, yeah, we're on the set getting it knocked out right now as we speak. <laughs> Doing the video. <laughs> Working. <laughs> All right. Well, we're, oh I'm, uh, Johnny, I'm going to continue to play Perfect for you and Ralph. All yes. right. I'm going to continue to yes. spin. Yes. To, well, awesome. we don't spin it anymore. I'm going to continue to hit the button and play it. Thank uh, you guys so much. Of course. Much, that's I what friends you. do. <laughs> I really appreciate it because uh, you guys have held me down and been holding me down, and I can't thank you guys enough. <laughs> Thank you so much, Johnny, for the yeah. call. JG. All right. All Yo, love. hold it down. And uh, love you, man. And let's talk soon. Will do. Love you, bro. Okay. Later. Bye. Yeah, I thought I surprised you since you creeped up on That's me. That's crazy. <laughs> let me tell you, life is so amazing, man. I, I don't let go of the moments. I used to sit in my bedroom and or, or I watch TV. I remember watching New Edition on a BT uh, a special and them talking about everything and Johnny G Johnny Gill talking about how 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 artists. He just wondered why artists would artists never really just show love to other artists who came before them mm. and whatnot. And I remember hold, I just held on to that and I remember I held on to that until having this opportunity to to really want to love this guy man who deserves all all the love and right now i'm just in this this moment is just so surreal for me because i'm on the radio station we talking you talking about me you surprised me i'm surprising you <laughs> life is so amazing man if you just keep walking forward bro Ooh, just keep walking huh? just man it's always gonna be some waves just keep surfing Oh, okay. So I'm. Can do I have you for at least another five minutes, Luke? I'm right here. Okay. So more with Luke James on the Tammy Mac show. Time out, folks.